Hello and welcome to Siena Chalk Talks. I'm Malcolm Laro, Director of Global Industry Insights. Today I'm going to provide an introduction to converged packet optical technology and how it's used in utility networks. Network modernization is an important topic right now. With much of the existing network designed decades ago, it's becoming very expensive and inefficient to operate. So utilities are under a lot of pressure to modernize that infrastructure. And we can see some of that pressure in the fact that today many carriers are starting to discontinue the existing services that have been running in those networks. At the same time, new technologies, new standards are coming on board, and these tend to be packet-based, things like IEC 61850 that are based on Ethernet technology. And so, the clock is ticking. Modernization of the network is important if utilities are going to be able to continue to provide safe, reliable, affordable electricity. So what are the options? Well, the default IT approach would be to build a routed IP network. However, there is an alternative that's much more suited to the very demanding requirements of operational grid technologies, and that's packet optical networking. So why make the distinction between IT and OT? Well, in the IT world, we're dealing typically with enterprise applications, servers, storage, data center, whereas in the OT world, we're really concerned about the management and control of critical infrastructure. And that tends to mean getting lots of information to its destination, but getting it there very predictably and very fast. So the overriding concerns become, is the network reliable, secure, deterministic, and very low latency? For the network planner, the critical considerations are things like, will the network provide the kind of performance my critical applications require? Critical applications like teleprotection. Will the network be easy to operate, diagnose, and troubleshoot? And are the tools built into the technologies to enable that to happen? And finally, will it continue to support the legacy applications as the modernization progresses? It's really these considerations exactly that packet optical networking addresses that makes it an ideal technology for utility networks. And so what is a converged packet optical network? Well, it's really the combination of three different technologies. At layer zero, we have a very agile optical layer built on DWDM technology. And this provides the capacity for the network because it enables multiple wave services to be carried on a single fiber. Next, there is OTN, optical transport network. And you can think of this somewhat like a next generation Sonnet SDH capability. So it is allowing multiple clients to be carried over those waves and then enabling much better and simpler configuration um, of those services. And finally, at layer two, you have carrier ethernet. And this provides the switching and transport of packet services. But it does so in a way that provides very tremendous operations, administration, and maintenance capabilities for the network. So with this combination, traffic can now be carried as wavelengths, as time slots, or as packets, whatever is the most cost-effective network layer for the given application. So unlike IP MPLS, which routes IP at layer three, Packet Optical provides simpler and more predictable traffic engineering, maintenance, and operations. And where this pays off is in providing a very smooth transition from legacy to next generation networks. After all, we're talking about critical infrastructure, so we don't have the option here to just rip and replace existing services. Packet Optical retains the key advantages of legacy transport services. These are things like manageability, reliability, low latency, but to that it adds packet efficiencies and guaranteed quality of service. And this means utilities can transition their traffic mix at their own pace. This is much lower risk and does not involve stranding investments in single service technologies. And in that way, packet optical technology is really providing the bridge between the legacy Sonnet SDH world and the next gen IP and ethernet world. As you face the end of life of your existing services, let's discuss how we can help you with a practical migration of your network, providing the right technologies combined with a very consultative business approach. 
And this is how Sienna makes transformation possible for utilities.